Hi, I'm Dustin Warnke and welcome to this episode of Gun Tales. Today we're going to talk briefly about the Mosin Nagant and what to do if you want to modify the bolt on a Mosin Nagant. This particular Mosin Nagant I have is um, in an ATI stock. So it's got ATI furniture and it also has the ATI receiver mount which uh, is drill and tap so it definitely um, is solid and then it has the ATI bolt, or it had the ATI bolt kit where basically you shear off the original bolt and drill and tap a regular bolt. And um, those basically are good. I'm not saying they're the best. And if you're going to do any kind of bending or modification on a Mosin Nagant, my suggestion is to get the bolt professionally bent. And that's what I did in this particular case. It had an ATI bolt on it. I sent it in to Max Shepard Bolt Products and what he did was took that off and um, cleaned it up real good and polished it and did a bolt bend on it to cover and to clear this receiver uh, from ATI, this receiver mount. So uh, it runs flawlessly in this gun. I'm very impressed by the low profile inletting that he did to make sure that this particular um, bolt cleared the scope. And a lot of people ask me, you know, where do you go? Um, what if you just wanna buy one out of the box online that's already been built? The issue you run into with the ATI stock is it's not inletted enough or shaved down enough to clear the receiver mount. So the issue there is that you don't have the um, clearance, you can't operate the bolt correctly, and you've got to basically take a Dremel tool or some kind of uh, grinder and uh, inlet the bolt yourself. Uh, the best possible idea is to spend the $70 or $80 and get it professionally done, and Mac Shepard Bolt Products do a fine, fine job of this. So this is the Mosin Nagant, and I want to thank you, by the way. Any of you guys that have watched my Mosin Nagant video, it is my most popular video on YouTube and uh, receiving, I forget how many tens of thousands of views, but this is the gun I mentioned at the very end of that video, but the camera cut off on me, and uh, it was already a 20-something minute long video, so it was kind of long. But uh, this is a really nice gun. I've killed uh, some nice trophy animals with it, and I will continue to hunt with it, but it looks even better now that I have this nice bent bolt professionally done by Max Shepard Bolt Products. More on that in a minute. Hi there, I'm back again with another Mosin Nagant. This is also a 1943, very similar to the one in the ATI furniture that I have, but this one is not mine. This is what I'm working on for a customer, a friend of a friend, so I guess you can call it a client. And what I'm basically doing with this is going to do a JMEX scope mount. And if you've not been experienced with the JMEX scope mount, check out another video that I did on my YouTube channel where I've actually um, inletted the stock and installed it. It's, it's received tens of thousands of views, which is really cool. And I'm grateful for all of you Mosin Nagant enthusiasts that watch my videos. Um, but this is the 1943. It's in decent shape. It's you know a little rough because this was a production year during the war. And uh, I'm going to do a JMEC mount, so I needed to get a bent bolt. Everybody asks me, where do you go for your bent bolts? Well, now I found a company, um, and this is the one that JMEC also recommended. Jeff, um, uh, who owns JMEC scope mounts, recommended me to go to Max Shepard Bolt Products. And so he did a fantastic job on a sniper reproduction um, bolt for this particular rifle. I can't wait to get the JMX scope mount mounted on it. And if you've not tried a JMX scope mount, definitely give them a try. They are solid. They are um, durable. Um, I've gone hunting several times with mine and I've been very, very happy with the result. In fact, over the summer, I just switched out um, one of my uh, Mosin Nagants for another one and put the JMX scope mount on it. It's even a better shooter than the first one that I mounted it on in that video last summer. So um, if you want to get any bolt work done, get it done professionally. I have no issues with the ATI, the ATI bolt kit, but the only issue that I have is you have to inlet the stock if it's not an ATI stock, and it's a drill and tap situation where you have to cut off the bolt and um, you know, thread in and tap a, um, a bolt handle in there. I think you can do a better job personally with the um, Mosin Nagant to do it professionally and get it professionally bent. Now again, ATI is a sponsor, so I don't want to say that um, you know I don't like their products. I do. I just think for the Mosin Nagant, having it professionally done is a better option. Thank you so much for watching these videos, and uh, check out my website for more videos and podcasts and articles and blogs and all the other stuff that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching.